yeah, that, um, it's a lot going on this week, huh? Oh, man. So, in baseball news, a big old contract just got signed for Josh Donaldson, the third baseman from the Braves. We'll talk about that. Oh, boy, and Alex Cora from the Red Sox getting fired. Oh, my goodness. And a few minor inquiries in the world of trading right now. Let's talk about all of it. First story on the board, Josh Donaldson. Signed for a four-year contract for 96 mil wait, 96 million dollars? I think I'm right. He is, yeah, four years for 92 million dollars. So that's 23 million dollars a season for Josh Donaldson, who's just had a breakout season, who's had a who's had a comeback season with the Braves. Okay, he's pretty good. I'm he he was he played with the Blue Jays, he was an all-star. Let's read his stats, okay? So Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson, his in his career, he has a WAR of forty four point eight. At bats, he's had three three thousand eight hundred forty one, one thousand forty eight hits, two hundred and nineteen home runs, and a two seventy three batting average. Which, whew, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. That's uh, guys would be lucky to get that just one season. Oh, and his on ba uh, he's had 38 stolen bases, 369 on base percentage, and a slugging and an OPS of 878. This guy has a great career. Last year he was he 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 was he, he had a he came back from a great from a horrible season in 2018. In 2019 he had a great season coming back. Last season he had a at 549 at bats he's had 142 hits, 37 home runs, a 259 batting average. 94 RBIs. He almost broke a hundred. And everybody know, who knows what play baseball knows that 162 games, 100 is a hard number to accomplish. But he's a, he's an MVP. But here's here's some of his career highlights. He was an MVP back in 20 2015. 2015, he was an MVP. He's a three-time All-Star. He was a two-time Silver Slugger, and an, and he finished in the. He's gonna he's he's gonna be a great asset for the for the Twins going forward. Twins got a was it a good deal? I'd say they. He was perfectly evaluated. I would have given him 20, 20 million dollars because Ryu got twenty, and I think Ryu on a level would be better than Donaldson. But that's just because he's a pitcher and he's one of the best in the game. That's just really hard to concentrate, but I think that the blue that the Twins are going to be really good, and they're going to be a great force to go up against the the, the White Sox having a great off season. The rain, the not the Rangers, the Indians having a great season. They had a great season last year. They're going to they're definitely going to have some more competition. But Donaldson just brought that war to a halt, and they're going to be we're going to see a lot of great great baseball in the American League Central. It's going to be good. Can't wait to see them play at Dodger Stadium. Also in the news, Alex Cora has has had an, a mutual separation from the Red Sox. In a statement, he states that he's perfectly fine. He had a he had a he was mutually agreed that the Red Sox were going to let him go, and he said that it was an honor to serve and, uh, as a manager, have them win a World Series. And the reason that he's getting fired is because of the allegations of him of having his allegations of him cheating and sign stealing. Now this is different from the Astros cuz here's what the Astros did. The Astros actually cheated by having a camera in the center field and 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 not center field in the middle of the field so they can see the calls and they went to the box and they were able to see that these that the calls that they were going to make and they banged a trash can in order to get those in order to get those calls the Red Sox did something different instead of sign stealing they would look at the pitcher from third or first base to kind of get their tell which is hey to get a tell is perfectly fine because the Astros use technology to cheat these guys just use their skill that's completely different I don't do I think that Alex Cora should have gotten fired I personally don't think so I think the Astros were the actual cheaters in this scenario all I know is the Dodgers were robbed two years in a row. <laughs> Damn it! I'm just kidding. Oh, but anyways, 
Who, what else is in the news? But that's pretty much it. Alex Cora is no longer going to be the manager. The Astros don't have a manager. That manager manager search is going to be tough. Oh boy, it's going to be fun to see all who's going to get who's going to get hired next. All right, next up in the news, the Angels acquired a pitcher by the name of Matt Andresi from the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now this guy could be. It's kind of hard to tell because here's the thing. Matt Andresi, he, in 2019, he had a 5-5 record. He had a 471 ERA. He 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 was a reliever. That's the thing. He he only he played 54 games and started nut. He had one save, 70 innings, 70.2 <gasps> innings pitched and 79 strikeouts with a whip of 140. Now I do see some potential. And with the Angels He's going to have a lot more run help, especially with people like Mike Trout, uh, Anthony Rendon, Tony, Tommy La Stella. We're gonna ha he's going to have a lot more help than he did in Arizona. No offense to Cattell Marte, because Cattell Marte, whew, Eduardo Escobar. Oh my God, those are just some names of great players. But I'm going to expect a little bit more from Matt Andresi and the Angels, because they're going to put him as a starter. A starter? What? How many games? How many games started did he even do in his whole career? Okay, so he's in 167 games. He's played 47. He started 47. Wow! And they're gonna have him as a main starter, which oh boy, it's gonna be tough. You I mean you're gonna have Shane Otani, which is a beast in pitching, but how is he gonna do? That's gonna be a tough one. The so the Angels acquired uh, Matt Andresi for a prospect for a minor leaguer right-hander named Jeremy Beasley on Tuesday. Now, Matt Andresi could have a breakout season with the Angels, and I do believe with that run help, that win-loss record could be switched around, especially since his ERA isn't that high. It's only a 471. To put it into perspective... He could come back. He, to put it into perspective, Charlie Martin was at a 390, what is that, a 3, what, 396? But he was flawless. And he's, and that ERA speaks for itself. It's not that bad. In a game which is determined by runs, I could see this guy being a good starter for the Angels. It's a, was it a good pickup? Yeah, it's a great pickup for the other guy. He was a great, he was good in the minor leagues. He, he had a decent average, but... I want. I can't. I can't say anything until I think this is a good trade for the Angels. Uh, I think it, it far benefited them more than the Diamondbacks. We'll see how it goes. I can't wait to see. It's gonna be a great season. But anyways, guys, that was uh that was it for today. It was. Gr Thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and like in the bottom. As always, thank you for watching. Peace.